Hey, welcome back to the bench. So it's been a couple of weeks and I've been busy in that time. The 18650 charge and discharge rig is coming along nicely. It's been moved off the breadboard onto these prototyping boards and the next piece of the puzzle is underway here. More in the video to follow. And the next project, which is the 3D printed uh, battery holder for my 18650 cells is underway at the back there. Uh, again, video to follow. And I've also been working on improving the production of my videos. Hopefully they'll be a, a little bit better than just the uh, straightforward overhead cam shots. Uh, but today I want to talk a bit more about the 18650 pack builder app that I did a couple of videos ago. I've been working with some other YouTubers. So let's take a look at the changes I've added to that. So with the help of Paul Kennett and some of his subscribers, the pack builder has now been improved. It's now deployed to repacker.com and is available for you all to give it a go. Um, the first improvement is we have introduced the options to specify the number of cells in series and cells in parallel. So let's give this a go. As before, a comma separated list of capacities in milliamp hours and the number of cells in series and cells in parallel and then we can hit generate and it generates us seven packs with 12 cells in each. The next improvement is it now tries to balance the capacity so each of these packs now roughly have very similar capacities The second improvement is it tries to optimize the deviation within a pack itself so that the deviation between each of these cells is no longer too varied, helping with problems with a charge and discharge at the beginning at the end of those cycles. So if you want to give it a go, it's on repacker.com and also the code is available on GitHub. So if you wish to change it, give it a go, or if you wish to submit changes that you think need to be in here, please do so. Let us know if you uh, would like any other changes in the comments below, and thanks very much. I'll see you next time. 